I'm Brother Nash Schaefer, radio host of Sunday Morning Golden Gospel here in Chicago. I do history of gospel music, curator, study of the art form, what we call the African American sacred song tradition. I am a graduate of the Northeastern Illinois University in Chicago, and my course study was in African American traditional music of the African American church, where we do lectures, workshops, overviews, and studies of the art form that we call gospel music. We call it the African American sacred song tradition. We are currently working on a master's degree at the McCormick Theological Seminary in Chicago. I am halfway through the master's program. Congratulations. And I'm trying to get my master's degree so that I may able, be able to teach in the college and universities yes, sir. Uh, this religious art form and perhaps share it with portions of the African American church. We are losing our history. We are losing our culture to a lot of different things coming in. And I think someone has to blow the trumpet and let them know that, okay, before you were, this was. That's right. And out of this was created what you have today. Yes, so you must not forget the history from whence you come. Yes, it is uh, in keeping with the word of God, when Moses was passing off the scene, he told Joshua, don't forget to tell the story to the next generations, how you crossed from Egypt through the wilderness, yes, the sir. plagues. Don't forget that I fed you manna from heaven every day. Yes, sir. Don't forget the story. And then Joshua talks about what meaneth these memorial stones. The stones. The stones are to be remembered right. for the ancestors that gave their blood, their sweat and tears. Don't forget the stones, the memorial, the keeping of the traditions, yes, teaching the generations following what this is all about. The word of God says, let Mount Zion rejoice, let the daughters of Judah be glad. Mark ye bulwarks, the bulwarks. For this God is our God forever and ever, and he will be our God for generations to come. Don't forget to tell the story. Don't forget to tell them about how we made it, the way we came, how we came. Those things are most important. We pass them on to the future generation. Thank you so much, Mr. Schaefer. We're pace setters in that work. When you think of uh, Charles William Watkins, uh, Austin Lane, Della Mae Collins, Rose C. Jackson, uh, Roland Booker, the Ellis's, David Ellis, Charles Ellis, uh, all of those individuals made contributions to the music field. Eleanor and Robert Holly, Bishop Holly's son was down at 38th Street uh, Apostolic Church for years. Della Mae Collins was over the choir, a woman who was a diva of music, studied music, knew music, and the choir of the Apostolic Faith Church in its heyday was second to none because Della Mae was a well-trained singer and uh, every February, March, the city of Chicago would go down to the Apostolic Faith Church. Uh, Bishop Holly gave uh, Della May an annual um, appreciation and all of the well-known choirs, the groups and the soloists of the city would come there for Della May. Charles Clancy's voices of melody, Beatrice Alfred Clancy, Sarah Jordan Powell, Jerry Bratton, James Lennox, uh, Rose C. Jackson and the Apostolic Choir, Dorothy Jackson, Roland Booker and the 35th Street, Indiana Pentecostal Church of God Choir, uh, Lorenzo Stallings, and uh, we often fellowship, not to mention that Charles Watkins would come from Cleveland, Ohio, and come there every June to do workshops. You had all those other ministers that would come, Huey Rogers and the junior would come. We had uh, Bishop McMurphy, Bishop uh, Mur um, 
Name slips me from California. McMurray. McMurray would come from California. Monroe Saunders from over in Baltimore, Maryland. Smallwood Williams, Huey Rogers, uh, the who's who. Yes, sir. Would come down to 38th Street. At that time, Bishop John Silas Holly was pastor long before Horace Smith was even thought of. In fact, Horace Smith, who's the national president, uh, was Brother Horace Smith in the Holly and Ivy Choir at the Apostolic Church. They wore some green robes with gold V-shaped collars. He was a young, young man singing in the Holly and Ivy Chorale at Della Mays program. <laughs> and we would all come from across the city. Eleanor Holly at that time was a music teacher and she taught music organ lessons and piano lessons down at 38th Street along with Juanita Gogans. She played the piano, Della May directed the choir, and um, Eleanor was on the organ. And those days that were in the old church, we can't forget because those were good days. They were days when friendships and relationships had been formed and have followed us all the way to our graves because of the friendship and the camaraderie that we had. So the history of all of this is tremendous. Oh, and how do we forget Mr. Piano, Ernest Allen? He would come down there to 38th Street and Bobby Holly, the pastor's son, wore a pair of glasses and would have this piece to hold the glasses together on the back and have all these little hundreds of pieces of paper where everybody said, please call on me, I got to go. And Bobby would MC the program every March, February for Della May's annual day down in 38th Street. Julia May Kennedy would come from the First Church of Deliverance because Della May and Julia May were good girlfriends. Okay. And those were good days. I mean, you know, even with the new structure and the new buildings and all the new uh, what I would say uh, technology and all of the efficiency that we now enjoy, nothing takes the place of the good old days. Yes, sir. And it is our history and our legacy, and we must pass it on to future generations. Now, don't forget to tell them about how we made it, the way we came, how we came. Those things are most important. We pass them on to the future generations. Thank you so much, Mr. Schaefer.